It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, the 15th of August. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather looking fairly typical of summer for the next few days, but showers and storms could increase again late this week and over the upcoming weekend. That's a water vapor satellite view as this day begins. The upper feature that brought that historic flooding to Louisiana in recent days, that has been drifting back to the west. It's over really parts of Texas and Oklahoma, the remnant circulation of that. And we've got ridging here. Starting off the day in the 70s, except Fort Payne. They've got 68. We'll expect a high in the low 90s in most spots today. West of Alabama, flash flood watches for parts of south and southeast Texas and up north from near St. Louis up to Grand Rapids, Michigan. We note some flash flood warnings around St. Louis early this morning as the day begins. There's the convective outlook for today and tonight. No organized severe weather expected, but any summer storm will produce a lot of lightning, and we all know from time to time they can produce a wet microburst. Tomorrow, risk of severe weather for the northeast U.S. And on day three, Wednesday, no organized severe weather expected. Here's the rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning. Bigger numbers west of the state, around the Arklatex, the bullseye 4.8 inches near Longview, Texas, and Shreveport, Louisiana. In our state, about an inch and a half where we are, with lighter amounts down to the south. Tropical weather. This is a time of the year where things should be very active. We do have one wave that's come off the coast of Africa that will be moving to the west-northwest in coming days. But uh, this thing's going to be fighting a lot of issues, including some shearing down the line and very dry air. Uh, here's the ensemble guidance on this this is invest 98 and uh, if anything survives it will be gaining latitude and typically when they get up in that region they don't affect the united states they recurve and i don't think it survives that long because of the dry air but always we'll watch it here we go model fans the gfs valid today at one o'clock local time and again you can see that upper trough west of the state ridging nosing in here from the east and again i think it just means a fairly typical summer day partly sunny low 90s Scattered showers and storms. By the way, we went six consecutive days last week with a high under 90. But the uh, GFS is showing 92. The NAM is at 93 today. Here's the high-res HER model, valid at 5 o'clock, suggesting the Tennessee Valley would be dry with a better coverage of showers and storms over central and south Alabama. And again, understand the radar won't look like that. It's just a, an approximation. Nobody knows this hour when or where summer storms pop up. They tend to be very random and very scattered. Uh, not much change tomorrow with low 90s and really not much change on Wednesday, although there might be a little bump in the number of showers and storms with a looks like a weak surface front coming in from the north. Here's Thursday. We do see evidence that showers and storms could be more numerous late this week with the ridge weakening and a weak boundary north of the state. Uh, the GFS dropping us back into the upper 80s. Friday, a mix of sun and clouds with a pretty decent chance of at least one or two passing showers and storms during the day. What about the weekend, you ask? All right, this is Saturday. Pretty soupy air mass. The ridge has weakened, so again, we'll expect uh, scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms around, but it's certainly not going to rain all day. Uh, the GFS is showing a high in the mid-80s. Sunday, a surface front near Memphis getting close. That could be a fairly active shower thunderstorm day if this verifies. And again, it won't rain all day, but scattered maybe numerous showers and storms. Here's a week from today. This is Monday the 22nd. There's not much upper support. You can see ridging down here, but the, the GFS tries to push the front down to about Montgomery, U.S. 80. You know, the 1023 high near Detroit. And if by chance, if this verifies, the uh, nights would be slightly cooler, the dew points would be slightly lower. But we'll believe that when we see it here in August. This is the end of the forecast period. Uh, Wednesday of next week, the 25th, again, got flat ridging, and that looks fairly typical for summer. Here are the temperatures coming off the GEFS Ensemble. You can see low, maybe mid-90s through, uh, through the week. But look at the numbers come down this weekend with mid-80s on Saturday and Sunday and upper 80s for much of next week. And like we've talked about, the good news, we see no sign of any nasty, excessive heat. Upper 90s, triple digits or higher anytime soon. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.